karma is the law of return. What you sow, so shall you reap. So if you went around and you sowed good seeds, you're going to reap good rewards. <clears throat> if you went around and you sowed bad seeds, you sowed a little bad seed here, a little bad seed there. Those bad seeds grow into trees. The wind blows their pollen all over creation. And one day those bad things come back to you in another form that you don't recognize because the last time you saw them, they were these little seeds and now they're monster weeds choking the life out of you. And you're like, how'd that happen? Girl, you know what you did and it's all coming back to you now. Every religious tradition in the world believes that how you treat your neighbor is how the world is going to treat you in little ways, in big ways. But eventually the chicken will come home to roost. But, you say, how come I see bad people who get away with everything and I see good people suffering? We're going to explain today how and why you can delay karma or paying for your sins, but that it's never worth it and it's just wasting time. When you delay your karma, it's like being in the waiting room of a hospital waiting to get life-saving surgery. This surgery will save your life, but you don't want to do it. <laughs> you don't want to go through the surgery, the difficult recovery, the change in lifestyle habits. It's just a hassle, not to mention that after the surgery, you will never be the same. So instead of getting the surgery, just hang out in the waiting room. So you eat snacks from the vending machine, you know, you chat with the nurses, you make friends with other people waiting to get their surgeries, you watch TV, you surf the internet on your phone, but you're basically, you're doing nothing with your life. You're just waiting around and you're not in pain, you know, maybe discomfort, maybe loneliness or boredom because this waiting room, you know, nothing goes on here, but waiting around. But you're also not yet fully alive or living your life because you can't move on with your life until you get that surgery. The universe, God, and your angels sometimes has to give you a spiritual surgery. They have to cut out something in your life that's poisoning your soul. So, for example, you're in a relationship that sucks and God wants you to break up or get a divorce. And the thought of that is overwhelming. I mean, you're not happy, but you're afraid that breaking up is going to make you even more unhappy. And it will for a while, but it will also free your soul. Or God wants you to quit your job but you stay because you're afraid of being broke and you end up getting fired anyways for no reason. And in a panic, you take another job and you realize that any job was better than your old job, but you couldn't see that until God opened your eyes. Physical surgery is cutting out disease from your body. Spiritual surgery is cutting out negativity from your life. Spiritual surgery is also cutting out of your soul anywhere you feel not good enough. Because any place that you feel not good enough is going to block your abundance. Spiritual surgery comes in the form of a traumatic event in your life that forces you to release all of this old energy, junk, and baggage that you've been holding on to for years is just weighing you down, but you refuse to get rid of it. So the universe gets rid of it for you. That's spiritual surgery. So right now, take out your journal. Think of a time when the universe gave you spiritual surgery. A traumatic time in your life where you've experienced a great loss, a breakup, a crisis, an injury, and write that event in your journal, just very briefly, like my divorce or my car accident. Now you're gonna write in your journal, the time when I, 
you know, right? What happened? The time when I got a divorce or whatever, or looking for a job. Was the universe giving me spiritual surgery? As traumatic as this spiritual surgery is, you can't move on with your life until you have this surgery. So you're either in the waiting room of your life, or you've already gotten surgery, or you're in the process of getting surgery to help you move on with your life. Spiritual surgery is the same thing as karma. Karma is absolutely necessary to help you move on with your life. It sucks, but it's temporary. The results from the surgery, from going through your karma, are permanent. Spiritual surgery, aka your karma, is another word for payback, and it's absolutely necessary for you to move on with your life.